Hi, I'm Janine Bissick, Director of Admission. And I'm Kieran Miller, Vice President of Enrollment. And today we're going to answer some Google questions for you. So, when does Whittier College send? What are we? What are we sending? Acceptance letters. Okay. Well, this is actually my job, yeah. so um, I would say what about this week, right? Three aren't or we, four minutes from admitting? now. Yeah, when I we think that's right. This, yeah, yeah, ongoing. So as soon as our uh, admission counselors come back to the office from travel, we start reading and reviewing applications, meeting with the committee, and sending decisions. So the sooner you apply, complete your application, the sooner you could have an offer of acceptance in the mail if you're so lucky. As a matter of fact, this video is really delaying us getting decisions out. Yeah, right? I really so should if we could be working on kind that. Kind of uh, hurry this up. That'd be, my boss is that'd be here. great, right? How does Whittier College rank? rank? All right. So we're one of the top ten most diverse liberal arts colleges in the entire country. I certainly think as you as you look at any major college guidebook, whether it be U.S. News, Princeton Review, Peterson's Forbes, whatever it is, um, you're going to find Whittier listed in, in all of those guidebooks as one of the, you know, a great liberal arts college um, throughout this country. But I think it's important not to let um, rankings and guidebooks really dictate your college search. Um, how much say, does Whittier cost, College cost? Cost. That's wow. He was right. I, wow, I'm pretty. I think that's that's a pretty typical question. Yeah, no, right. It is, yeah. And the answer is it depends. So first and foremost, everyone that applies to Whittier, um, well, we kind of make the assumption that you want free money. Yeah, it's a good assumption. So, yeah, yeah. There's so. no special application for merit-based scholarships at the time that we review your application for admission. We're also considering you for merit-based scholarships. Mm -hmm. So. First, there's that. Second, you can fill out the FAFSA. And the FAFSA would determine any kind of need-based aid you get. So really the answer to the, this question is, it depends. Just, just to add to that, that you know, as you're, as you're looking at private schools like Whittier and, and looking at the sticker price and comparing that maybe to a UC or Cal State, um, you, you will notice a cost difference, but do not let that uh, scare you, right? I mean, we offer about 90% of our students are receiving need-based financial aid. So there's so much money out there that we give to help students that Whittier can often be, I would say, as affordable um, as a UC or Cal State for many of our families. And certainly when you factor in um, graduating in a four-year time frame, right? Um, really 90% of our students are going are to graduate in, in four years. So we do a really good job getting you out in a timely fashion. So you can either go on to graduate school or get a great job shortly after graduating.